This is the Daily Habit, a place for the ergophobic. In today's show, we're bringing you the best of skate, wake, and snow. Osiris team riders Karen Jones, Steph Torr, Vera Jansen are on the Habit. Welcome, everyone. It is The Daily Habit. How are you doing? Pat Parnell and look who is in studio. Vera Jansen. Hi. Thank you for making the trek down from Whistler. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Thanks for having me. Finally, you guys are getting snow, right? Early season, not so much, but uh, starting yeah. to dump, right? No, it's good. Right when I came there in January, it's been starting to dump, and uh, now it's good. It's going to be good when they go come back tomorrow. True story. I heard someone, a very lame person out there, stole your sled, your snowmobile. Yeah. It what happened? It was uh, pretty crazy. Just when I got situated in Whistler, early January, my truck and my sled and a place to live, um, I walked out my house and my driveway was empty and everything was gone, my whole setup. But uh, luckily yeah. those guys were pretty stupid and they didn't only steal my sled and truck but also this guy Jeff Kyles who's a professional sledneck. Right, mistake right there. Yeah, they uh, shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Anyways, like two or three weeks later, Jeff and his buddies through connections found who had taken it and Yep. Sold it for ridiculously the cheap The perpetrators price. were caught, and you got your sled. And uh, right now, we're going to get to 29 and a half second satisfaction. What you're able to do when you have a sled? Check it out. Yeah, I defiant <laughs> 29 and a half seconds of satisfaction. If you're watching closely, there's some classic footage in there, right? Yeah, there's some 2001 action in See? there. See, <laughs> because I know way back uh, back at that time, you were shooting with Brian Oliver, who's a producer for Fuel TV. Yeah, yeah. he made uh, snowboard videos back then, and uh, mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to get part in his movies. It was super yeah. good season, thinking back of it, really fun and motivational until this day because that's the season I really found out that filming yeah. is what I wanted to do. But I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to go back like early days in Germany. How, you, how did you get your start? I mean because you didn't grow up in a ski town at all, right? No, I'm from the flatlands. We're like the, <laughs> the typical tourist uh, ski vacationist once a year though, every yeah. year. And my dad got me on skis when I was three. I saw my first snowboard when I was seven. I just always loved snow, playing in it, loved the mountains. So true, you'd work, like work at a job and just save up just to, you know, get that one, you know, trip a yeah, year. Yeah, my dad yeah. would give me a season pass for Christmas, and then I would babysit until I had 120 Deutschmarks, which is yeah. enough money to take the train to the Alps for a weekend and back. Yeah. And then I'd just stay with friends and like practice. You miss the, you miss the simple days of Deutschmarks for sure. <laughs> so, but yeah, you guys had cheaper. a deal. You wanted to drop out of school, and he's like, "I'm not having it." He kind of forced you to stay with the education. Are you happy you did that? Yeah, yeah. I'm super stoked he did that. We cut a deal that I was going to finish school, and he would let me go to the states to go snowboard. So I did like high school in Utah, and then I moved to Squaw Valley, and then I stayed in Tahoe. So you've been yeah. you've been everywhere. So how did? How did it come from like Salt Lake City, that area, and then where did the Whistler thing come about? Because since it seems like since you went to Whistler, you really started to get some good momentum with filming and. Yeah, well, yeah. kind of. You have to be on top of your sledding stuff and like really know your sled to be able to go out into the backcountry in Whistler. So I was living in Mammoth before, uh, had my sled and just yeah. learned everything about it, so I could be self-sufficient and be able to go out with the boys. There's some good baby areas in Mammoth. It seems like a lot of people get their, their sled shops because you can't be a girl out there and go, you know, how many times did you get stuck when you first started to uh, a lot. on the turnarounds? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically until I was too tired to uh, sled anymore. <laughs> yeah. And then I'd load up and try again the next day. Yeah. But it's perfect in Mammoth. You got like the big flats out there and you can just 
whip turns it's and yeah. Dreamland. I mean, and Whistler's even more so now since you're going up there. You uh, signed with Nitro. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm really stoked on that. And what about the alterna Alter Alterna Films only female rider that they're shooting with? True. Yeah, yeah. They used to have one other girl a couple years back, and since then it's only been a guy's production. And it's been a dream of mine to jump on their crew. Like all the guys yeah. are so awesome. I love their movies. And it's it's kind of cool too. I want to give you a little nod that you always kind of stick to the natural terrain, kind of Jake Lavelle style. You you love those natural like terrain features, don't you? Yeah, the powder is the best, and just uh, doing a run down a mountain, just having a mountain as your playground, that's the best thing. Good stuff. All right, well, sit tight. We'll bring you back later in the show. we got more coming up. You're watching The Daily Habit here on Fuel TV. Welcome back to The Daily Habit, presented by Snickers, and we are now joined by Karen Jones. Hi. Well, welcome to the show. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. Uh, I hear you've been uh, kind of enjoying the California... California coast, getting some skate time in, right, from Brazil? Yeah, that's mostly what I do every time I come here to San Diego. You eat, sleep, and uh, kind of dream skate all the time, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Any parks? Like, what's your, what's your favorite spot to hit when you're in California? I like to skate Claremont a lot because it's yeah. pretty empty and mellow. So yeah. I go there pretty much every day. But uh, I like to go to Carmel Valley, too. Yeah, because you love the parks, but you also, I mean, your favorite, uh, without a doubt, it has to be vert still. You love, yeah. the, love the good vert ramps. I'm really focused at now on skating vert, but I also uh, like like to skate. It's just that, like, as we don't have any really good vert ramps in Brazil, I, when I'm down there, I skate street and mini ramps and bowls, and right. when I'm here, I like to enjoy the awesome vert ramps. You make ramps. the best of what you have, which uh, right now we're going to check you doing your deal. 29 and a half seconds of satisfaction. Second satisfaction and uh, saw some good mix there. A little mini ramps, some street and uh, vert as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So how did it how did it all come about for you? Because I know you, you mentioned that there's not a lot of vert where you grew up in Brazil. How did you get into vert skating? Uh, yeah, actually, there's uh, where I live. It's the main place uh, from vert and bowls, which is uh, São Paulo, São Bernardo. They have a very famous. Skate, concrete skate park. Yeah, where you there. fall, it basically peels off your leg, like super yeah, coarse. Yeah, true. And it was <laughs> so rusty and yeah. old, but they uh, they rebuilt it, and it's it's looking good now. But then, uh, I when I started skating, there was this small um, wood vert ramp. Right. And I used to skate there a lot, and I still do because it's one of the only uh, vert ramps in Brazil. But uh, with the time, it got. Old and it's kind of small. Like when I start skinny, well, it was now, the now size. That, but now that you're used to huge ramps, because now you're, you're used yeah. to coming to the X Games, which I want to point out. Were you guys round of applause taking gold this year? <laughs> talk, talk about that. How crazy it is to come from you know that that place where you don't have good vert and then to win gold at X Games. What was that like? Yeah, I think uh, bec mainly because we don't have good vert ramps. When when we're here, we just. Uh, give everything like everything I go to the skate park here I think I want to skate here because when I go back home I won't I won't have that yeah. so it help it really helps me uh, develop a little a little bit more sure and it's kind of a tight collection of events back to back I mean, I mean like the jam at US Open you enjoyed that as well did you was it a best yeah, trick that you got it was a best trick yeah. and uh, and the uh, the ramp was really tiny and and old and all the girls were like I don't believe I have to skating here and I was like dude this is just like the vert ramp I have back in Brazil <laughs> you're like be appreciative please yeah. yeah and I really like the format because uh, I I like to do technical stuff on vert and I had some some tricks that I wanted to do and I couldn't do on a uh, on a normal contest because it takes a couple of tries. Yeah. And in the end, I kind of uh, landed everything no, I wanted. We'd love to see you bring in the flip tricks to Vert. Um, on top cool. of that, I should point out you're kind of an entrepreneur. Is it true you started your own clothing company? A which what? A entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Oh yeah, that's a big one. I don't know. I don't even know how you translate that to Portuguese. <laughs> but okay. uh, you started your own company and uh, not just clothing but underwear as well. Yeah. This uh, it started like when I started skating, my underwear was always showing up and 
I okay. didn't like the way it, it looked because it was uh, like like kids underwear. Oh, I didn't yeah, like, like underwear. Yeah, yeah, like with Spider Man and stuff, probably. <laughs> <It's> no. like, oh, <laughs> I wish, and then I wanted to do something that would be okay to show up. So I started doing my own, my own stuff. Like I cut it, I silk screen it, and did everything. And my yeah. friends uh, saw that, and they're like, "Oh, that's cool. Can can you make me one?" So I started making it for everybody. But after a while, I had to stop because I got uh, really busy skating and, and doing the other it's, stuff, college. It's, and it's tough to balance, I know, but yeah. uh, it's a, it's cool to see you doing both. Uh, sit tight. We'll bring you back later in the show. Get some other Osiris girls here on the stage. <laughs> uh, you're watching around. You're watching the Daily Habit here on Fuel TV.